What's up, DC Nation? Welcome back to another video on the Batman, the 2004 animated series. So today, we're checking out season three, episode 11, titled The Apprentice. Now, that's an interesting title. It gets me excited. Like, there's so many possibilities for that title. But before we get into the episode, make sure you follow my socials, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. They all the same username, lowercase DC underscore enthusiast one. Also, go check out my website, dcenthusiast.com, where you can watch all my full episode reactions, including the one for this episode. But yeah, guys, with all that being said, it's time to get to the latest episode of The Batman. Let's look at Batsy and Bitsy. The teamwork. Yeah, they have good teamwork now. Yeah, let's go. Batgirl has actually made it past her basic training, you could call it. And now they're a good dynamic duo. But the thing is, Joker commented on that. What is he going to do? I want one too. Oh my gosh. Joker is getting an apprentice. A sidekick, okay. Hmm. I just know somewhere out there is a Joker Jr. Just waiting for me to take him A Joker Jr. That sounds like the craziest child ever. And of course there probably is. Here we go. Minus five. And it's in Barbara's school, I'm guessing. Excellent, Barbara. Uh, this guy. I saw him in the corner of the screen. Now it's like he has a big smile. Heck no. Donnie. Uh, Donnie, the new Joker. Well, who would like to solve for X? Mm. Oh, I, I know. I know. I know. I know. X equals P U. Ah, <laughs> uh, this kid. He's not doing anything bad. They're just stupid jokes, but Joker's going to take it to another level with him. One week of detention. Oh, Mr. Harms, isn't that harsh punishment for the class clown? Mm. Gee, Donnie, I thought you had to be funny to be the class clown. Ah, <laughs> oh, you don't gotta do him like that. You people don't know funny. Oh no, Joker. Mm, yeah, it's a Joker, dude. You have some real potential. I know Oh my. Him in the shadows. You're, you're a comic who only wants to make people laugh, just like you. I'll bet no one gets your jokes either. Instead of laughs, I usually get detention. See, you get sent to detention, I get sent to the asylum. <laughs> Those are two big different places. Detention, okay. Asylum, you're crazy. Mm. Yeah, he has done that already. <laughs> to Riddler. To <laughs> Riddler. I love this back and forth. Oh, prankster. Your new sidekick. Oh my gosh. So he's the prankster. Joker and the prankster. Mm-hmm. Sorry to burst your bubble, Batsy. It's your time to shine, sunny boy. Mm. Stick around, Batman. <laughs> uh oh. He Whoa. sees the wrong in this. If I do that, she'll... That's right. It'll be hilarious. Mm. So he's got some morals. He's not like the Joker. Okay, prank. Um, no, Don't do it. Get it. You yank lever, gumball go boom. They need to save Donnie. Donnie's in a bad spot now. When you don't have access to the official bat arsenal, you improvise. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you should allow her access, Batman. Yeah, when Joker is mad at you, that's the worst spot you could ever be. That's the thing, Joker. 
Oh my gosh, she's actually about to do that. I was about to say Joker's crazy, but yeah, he really is. Like, mm. yep. Gotta dump him in the acid, same way Joker was born. This is so interesting, man. Hang on. Yeah, no one wants to be like you, Joker. Oh, he's doing one finger at a time. Go, go, save him! Go, Joker. I'm trying to! <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, that was funny. That was actually really funny. Let's go, Donnie! Knocked him out with a punching glove. Or a boxing glove. Bang. Mm. You were right, Joker. The best punchline is the one you don't see coming. Mm, good line. What an amazing episode. Our relationship's looking better all the time. <laughs> but yeah, guys, getting into the review portion of this video, I first want to talk about Donnie, aka Prank, aka Joker Jr., and if he kept going, he would have became Joker 2.0. And yeah, this whole episode being centered around the idea of Joker wanting an apprentice, a sidekick, and he sought one out. We got introduced to Donnie, who was at Barbara's school, one of her classmates. He's the class clown, and he gets sent to detention, and he just wants to joke around, but he doesn't want to hurt anybody. So that's the difference between him and Joker. And seeing Donnie go out to like a laugh factory and be a failed comedian, and then seeing him do all these jokes and no one gets it, and him having a creative mind, like him coming up with the bubble gum, or not bubble gum, but like the gumball plan, and then him talking about playing police in cards, which, which Joker already did in the episode Topsy Turvy, I'm pretty sure. So he was sticking in the same mindset of Joker. Like, this character, Donnie, is similar to Joker's origin, at least the side of him being a failed comedian. Joker has many origins, he's unpredictable, that's one of the best parts of his character, and just seeing Donnie be so similar, but then at the end, him not want to hurt anybody and him not take that extra step, and Joker try to force him into chemicals, and Joker talking about how that changed him and that leads to my next topic okay joker's mindset because okay i talked about donnie donnie was a great character he was written well but seeing joker how yeah he's similar to donnie but he's so extreme also like seeing joker at the end be like okay you're not keen. I, I should not did the routes of just putting a costume on you and just expecting you to be creative and go along with it. Instead, I'm going to do to you what happened to me. I'll dump you in chemicals. It's like, that's what Joker thought. He thought dumping Donnie in chemicals, in acid, would get that clown look and would make him delusional. Or Joker's mindset his perspective would make him the best, would make him a great apprentice, a great sidekick, Joker 2.0. And yeah, just seeing Joker's mindset of the idea of him, okay, yeah, he just wanted to joke around, he has all these different backstories, but in the end, him falling into the chemicals really changed him. It pushed him over the edge. All it takes is one bad day. That's a big phrase that is associated with Joker's character, really with the killing joke. And I like that phrase because that day really changed Joker when he fell in those chemicals. And this day could have changed Donnie. This day of Donnie running around with a Joker, putting on a costume, coming up with these crazy plans, a gumball plan, and doing all these crazy things. But if he was stepped over the line, hurt people, hurt Batgirl, and if he would have fell in the chemicals, it would have just been another bad day and another lost soul. 
another lost person Gotham who'll be sent to Arkham Asylum and will be fighting the Batman for the rest of their time. It's a very interesting concept. So yeah, I love this episode. Just joking out the Apprentice and going to my last talk. Actually, I have two more topics I want to talk about. First this is a quick one. At the end of the episode when Batman and Batgirl try to save Donnie and Donnie's holding on for dear life and Joker's trying to kick him off and him into the chemicals, Batgirl's like, let him go. Go. and Joker's like I'm trying to like that was the funniest line in the episode it was so memorable it reminded me of Joker in the Dark Knights where he has a hold of Rachel Dawes and Batman's like let her go and Joker's like a poor choice of words and then lets her go like that's a better scene than the one here but just the similarities just Joker's comebacks and his zaniness like I love that about the character now on to my final topic more progress on Batman Batgirl's team up like their teamwork seeing Batgirl be like hey why is Prince get access to Joker's hideout and I can't get access to your hideout Batman why can I not go to the Batcave and Batgirl just improvised and improving herself like she's slowly getting closer to being Batman's real sidekick like she's got past basic training for sure like in the last episode Thunder it proved that but this episode showed even more that she still has work to do. Like, yeah, she has access to the Bat Wave, and they're more in touch now, like Batman's laying her in, but she should be allowed in the Bat Cave. She should know what's going on. And I think she will in the next two episodes. We've got two episodes left this season, and by the end, Batman and Batgirl will be the perfect dynamic duo, and it'll be the perfect time for Robin, the boy wonder, to show up. And I'm so excited for that to happen. That's gonna be such a great moment just to see Batman, Robin, and Batgirl together and Batgirl kind of guide Robin maybe like that could be interesting. But yeah, guys, overall, I enjoyed this episode a lot. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's one of the best episodes this season, and I highly recommend it. You guys, some more thoughts on this episode down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up to the channel. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on my next The Batman reaction and review. And yeah, thanks for watching, and peace out.